In this video, I am photographing a book that I wrote. It's called Creator Sky with a light tent. I have multiple lights around it. They're just simple LED lights, uh, daylight colored. See the book is at an angle inside. Gets the diffuse light. And I have the camera in the back, of course, with a 50 millimeter lens at the moment. Here, I'm gonna switch lights on and off so you can see the difference for each one. So it's a top light, not too much of a change. The left light, there's quite a bit of difference when it when it's on and off and also the right light has a significant difference now you can add more lights of course it's just trying to fully illuminate the subject i have two different versions of this book one's a matte finish and one is a glossy finish just to see how the photos would turn out either way and i do wipe off the books especially the glossy one because that uh, easily shows fingerprints So in this case, I'm using a 20 millimeter lens and without the tripod, it's a little bit easier to do this way. I can get the angles that I want. Like I said, it's good to use, it's good to have an angle that shows the spine. And with a 20 millimeter, you can get some really dramatic angles for that book in this case. So now I'm going to go over the software side of things. So here are the pictures I took. Took quite a few with the 20 millimeter lens and the 50. This program is ACDC Ultimate 10, relatively cheap program that works most time for me. Seems a little quirky at times with errors and such, but it opens all of my raw files, which is great. Just going to brighten this up. See, this is the reflective copy, and it's at an angle, so that means down here it's pretty blurry. In the future, I probably want to shoot at a smaller aperture or change the angles up in this specific case. So I'm going to export. This is a PNG. So I'll go to Photoshop. So it's already a layer because it was a PNG file. And the easiest way is just to use this uh, it's called quick selection tool. Go around the edges. So it's not perfect, but we can easily Fix that uh, with the Alt. It'll switch it to minus, and then you subtract areas that you want back in your selection. So at this point, you pretty much just delete what you don't want, and then you've got your isolated copy in this case. So once you've got your uh, isolated subject, in my case, I wanted to make a screen for a video. And I'll just drag this over to that document and resize it. This tool, it's what is it called? Rectangular marquee. So what I do is uh, free transform with a right click and then control zero zooms you out. And I hold the shift key down to resize and keep the same aspect ratio. So we got our book. And then I would just add some text or something. So that is pretty much it. If you found this useful, uh, it's really using that nice light box and getting enough light into it to make it work. I'm Scott from Photography Bonsai. Thanks.